What's up everybody? Welcome to BioS3 Raw TV. Guys, I can't even believe I'm making this fucking video. Like, anyways, so you guys understand that I put out videos in order to try to help you guys as much as I can. And I will not talk about something unless I've gone through it myself, I've tried to research it, I've tried to study it. Someone I know personally has gone through something like that. I will talk about it like that. A lot of things I talk about, I feel like many people don't not only understand, but they don't really care. And part of what happens is I wind up talking about things because misinformation hits the internet so much that so many people are misinformed that when I sit down and have a conversation with somebody on a Skype, which I do Skypes with people all over the world as part of, um, part of my personal training, which they're available on my website, or just even with meeting people face-to-face -face at the expos, they say stuff like, Jerry, I can't believe fucking I heard this and I thought this was a fact, so I just went by this. And after learning more about it and going through it myself, I realized that this was bullshit, but this is common amongst like people in you know the fitness industry. So what am I talking about? Adrenal fatigue. I can't believe I have to make a video about adrenal fatigue because there are people out there who are so fucking dumb that they actually say stuff like adrenal fatigue doesn't exist, right? And I'm like, holy shit, that couldn't be further from the truth. Now, one person had stated like, it's not even a real thing. It was a, a, a term coined by a naturopath Back in 1998, it's not even a real thing. And I'm like, oh my God, you can't be this fucking dumb. Just because a, a term, okay, is coined, a phrase is coined, a term, a, a word, a condition is termed, right? And it doesn't necessarily describe to a T what is happening does not mean that condition does not exist, okay? Just because adrenal fatigue or adrenal glands are technically not tired, okay? You can't test their not, Jerry. If they're tired, they need to take a nap does not mean that there is not a condition that happens to your body when you are constantly stimulated by stimulants, taking them, caffeine, cocaine, whatever the fuck it is, by stressing your body out to the max, cortisol levels rise, certain hormones like DHEA get depleted and drop, and it causes major effects to your body that you can't recover from. Okay, so let's take the term adrenal fatigue and throw it away. Okay, I just watched recently with the last couple of years, my wife, okay, who is a CVR nurse. Let me explain to you what the fuck that entails. There are times where she is at work on call, which means that she's technically not at work, but they call her because they need her to come in ASAP, where she goes in for a regular shift at 5 a.m., stays till about 6.30, 7 o'clock at night, got home, walked through the door, the phone rang as she walked to the door. I looked up. She goes, okay, you know, blah, blah, blah. She goes to the bathroom, goes out again. She's back at work on a transplant or an emergency. This is 6.30, 7 o'clock at night. She gets back at 2 o'clock in the morning, almost 3 o'clock in the morning. It's like 2.45 in the morning. I hear a car pull in. I hear her back out. I hear her drive away again. She got called in the driveway. She was back. She didn't get home until it was like 1 o'clock the next afternoon from a transplant. Now, that's the type of thing that happens common with her job. Those surgeons go case after case after case after case. Those nurses go case after case after case. Teams running in different directions. There are times where they work up to 36 hours straight, nonstop, barely having time to go to the bathroom and eat, which sometimes they don't even eat for 12 to 13 hours at a time. It's like forced fasting. And these people constantly, case after case after case, and this never ends. So they've got a point where my wife was having blood work done. The proper things weren't be tested in her regular blood work. And she was so tired. She was so depleted. She would get sick. She was so fucked up that no matter how she slept, no matter how long, how many deep hours of sleep she got, she had a sleep tracker on her wrist to see how much deep sleep she got. No matter what she did, nothing changed. She still kept feeling worse and worse and worse and worse for like a year, okay? She finally talks to Titan Medical. Titan Medical ran a specific blood panel on her and found out that that adrenal fatigue that you motherfuckers say is not real is real as fuck, okay? Plain and simple, period. No matter what you think you know, no matter what bullshit you've read online, 
I have seen the blood work of people like this. I have seen the effects of this quote unquote non-real thing, adrenal fatigue. I have seen it real. It may not be your adrenals are tired and need a fucking nap, but there is a condition in your body because these nurses and these surgeons drink coffee all fucking day long. They drink energy drinks all day long. They take fucking five hour energy shots all day long. The stress is so fucking incredible with what they do. They have peds cases, emergency peds cases of little babies that need heart surgery. They do things that stress anybody out to the fucking max. Cortisol levels are crazy and it depletes your body of certain vitamins, minerals, stops your body from working properly and including dropping your DHEA. When they measure her DHEA levels, there were none being able to be recorded. That's how low they were. They were so low that they didn't even show up. She didn't even have DHEA in her body, which is a necessary hormone for health. Her testosterone was so low, it almost couldn't be read. Like a newborn baby has more testosterone than my wife had at that point. Like they literally zap now. When you step back, you go, holy shit, hormones are changing. There is an absolute problem with this. She had to go literally immediately to like GNC, get some DHEA, supplement the DHEA, DHEA, and then Titan Medical prescribed these things called trochies. They're little candies with three milligrams of testosterone. Oh, they were two milligrams at first, and that wasn't even raising her testosterone enough to be normal. She had to go on the three milligram trochies to get her testosterone to be normal to where she was no longer sick all the time and didn't feel like she was going to fucking die. And... Lo and behold, within a couple weeks of starting that therapy, she was fucking almost back to normal. She was absolutely feeling 100% better, sleeping better, energy was better, didn't fucking have to load herself up with all kinds of caffeine and bullshit, hands down, night and day difference. And what happened was, at her work, the people saw her getting better. They saw her smiling and enjoying fucking work, and they were like, what the fuck? Like, we're dying. How are you doing this? More and more people from her work went to Titan and got their blood work done, the blood panels that your doctor's not gonna fucking run. So yeah, it may not exist because your doctor's not running the right things and finding something wrong with you, but they ran panel after panel after panel on my wife and those people and told them they were fine. It wasn't until they tested specific things that Titan knew about that they should be based on her symptoms. And when that blood work came back, even the other nurses and people at her work got on the Titan program because they were having the same problems. It was real. Adrenal fatigue is real. Whether you want to call it adrenal fatigue, I don't give a fuck. But that condition is 100% real. For anyone to say that is just fucking asinine to think that someone would think that you can't push your body to the point where it breaks down. Of course you can. You can push your body to where it fucking breaks down in a billion different ways. But people like firefighters, these surgeons, the nurses that are in emergencies and the ERs and stuff, policemen, people that are, you know, pilots that are on these fucking flights for it. There are so many things out there that I'm not talking about bodybuilders, okay? Because bodybuilders, let's face facts, bodybuilders and these competitive athletes, these physique competitors and competitive athletes actually take care of their bodies better than the fucking people at these hospitals. Because it's not life or death. These motherfuckers can train, eat what they need to eat, get the sleep they need to get, and still fucking recover. And a lot of them take drugs to help recover too. A lot of them are supplementing drugs. So yeah, it's adrenal fatigue and one of these competitive athletes on loads of fucking steroids and supplementing their diet perfectly and eating every fucking three hours and doing everything they have to do and being hydrated. Well, that's another thing. The nurses and the surgeons can't drink water because they can't go pee during the fucking cases. They have to stay there till that case is done. If it's a seven hour case, you're in surgery for seven fucking hours. You can't go pee. You can't just say, I need a fucking bathroom break. Too fucking bad. You get that person's chest open, you're working on them, they die if you leave. So I stepped back and I was like, yeah, so maybe some of the people in the fitness industry claiming that they have adrenal fatigue may not be real. Okay, that's an absolute possibility. I'm not gonna deny that. But to say it doesn't exist, Makes you a fucking idiot. And I don't care who coined the term. You know what? When somebody coins a term, guess what? They coined a term because they found something. They saw something fucking happening. And I don't give a fuck if it was a nature path. I don't give a fuck who thinks it. I've seen other internet gurus, people that own supplement companies and shit say, it doesn't exist. I'm like, you gotta be fucking retarded. That motherfucker that said that shit only knows what the fuck is going on in the fitness industry and doesn't know what the fuck is going on in the real world. Because if they did and had a fucking clue, they would never make that statement. If they ever saw someone go through that shit and saw it get corrected with medications and fucking time because their body was so fucking stressed out from the stimulation, the cortisol levels, and the nonstop go, 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 their bodies were fucking breaking down. So the more I looked into it, the more I found other cases like that. They're out there. All you guys can do is search 
don't listen to these assholes online or these idiots on a talking box. Don't listen to me. Do not listen to me. Go out there and do the fucking research yourself. And I don't mean go in these bodybuilding forums. I mean really delve into the fact that high levels of stress, high levels of stimulants nonstop over periods of time increase cortisol levels and decrease hormones in your body, which you do that shit long enough because these people were doing it for years. They were, I mean, my wife has been doing this for 12 fucking years before she figured out she was in adrenal fatigue. It doesn't happen overnight. But none of these fucking bodybuilders and these assholes talking about how it's not real, those motherfuckers haven't dieted hardcore for fucking 12 years. Those motherfuckers haven't trained hard for 12 years. They fucking barely do even remotely physically what these people do at these fucking hospitals to save people. So for people to stand up and say, this is not fucking real. Fuck you, you're an idiot. You're a complete fucking tool that knows shit about shit. Because there's people out there suffering right now and people like these assholes saying it doesn't exist. Those videos are going to get seen by the people that are actually suffering. They're going to be like, oh, it's all in my head. And they're going to push themselves even further. And they're going to fucking hurt themselves because they're going to listen to you saying it's not a real thing. Listen, if you have symptoms that you cannot shake and they are fucking still going on, you've been to the doctor and they say you're fine, you're not crazy. There's something going on. You need to go to another doctor and get different blood work done. You need to see some kind of specialist to figure out what the fuck is going on. It's not in your head. It's not your imagination that your body's breaking down. You feel like you're going to fucking die no matter what you do for 12 years. It's over a decade. To say something like that is not real, that someone is so fucked up for over a decade and it gets progressively worse to the point where they fucking can't do it anymore. They're like, I don't even know if I can fucking work. I don't even know if I can get up in the morning. I don't know how the fuck I'm going to live. That point, to say that that person's not experiencing that is a really fucking stupid thing to say. And honestly, if you're one of the people out there preaching that shit and you don't have a fucking clue, I go, okay, if you're preaching that and everybody's taking that gospel and you don't really have a clue about that, what else are you telling people that fucking they're taking this gospel that you don't have a fucking clue about? What other misinformation, what other irresponsible shit are you saying out there that people are going to listen to and follow just because you have a following? Just because you have a following doesn't mean you know fucking dick about shit. But there's a lot of people out there that would fucking say it with enough gusto and say it with enough strength that you fucking believe it. Don't believe me. I hope you don't fucking believe me. I pray to God that you don't believe me. You go look this shit up and you fucking dig, 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 dig. And so you find the information you're looking for. Because I promise you, you listen to me, you'll find the information. You listen to those other assholes, you're going to be fucking suffering longer and longer and longer and not even pay attention to what really is going on because it's not real. I can news for you. There's a lot of people that think things aren't real out there because they haven't seen them. They don't believe it. Once those motherfuckers have it happen to them, the whole world fucking spins upside down. Don't be one of those people. Biostreetraining at gmail.com. Leave comments down below, but don't fight. www.biostreetraining.com is blog. It says, don't believe in bicep, and we are out.